how did you get into the to the IMAX world, the, this super huge format world, and what has it been like for you? Well, it's been great. Um, great because it's been challenging. Trying the sure thing is always uh, something that's going to make you bored and, and not very adventurous um, with your thinking. And what I was able to do, because I started with surfing documentaries when I was in high school and college, and then worked with in Hollywood doing second unit directing for about 10 years. And then the IMAX format began in 1970, and Jim Freeman and I did uh, our first IMAX film. We began it in 1974, and it became a, a big hit, um, and it kind of got me really excited about trying to get the audience uh, uh, to feel like they are in a place. Not that they're just watching a movie like on a TV screen or on a regular feature film screen, but they actually get the experience of being there. And so uh, I love that. I love the clarity of IMAX, the steadiness of it, the brightness and sharpness and, and color range. And the screen is so big and the, the sharpness is so vivid that the audience actually encounters the IMAX screen as um, you would real life. You zoom your own attention as you look. You'll do the zooming. Um, so you don't have to, like a normal filmmaker would start with a wide shot, go quickly to a medium shot, and then do a close-up. With IMAX, you can start with a wide shot and leave it. And the audience will do their own zooming into a close-up. It's that sharp. And we learned that early on. Because you don't want to have um, as many cuts per movie. Um, in fact, I always go through and actually count the number of cuts per each 40 minute movie mm. to make sure I'm not editing too fast. Um, the, the reason for that is that uh, if you edit too quickly in IMAX, it becomes a normal movie and you, the audience doesn't get that kind of experience that I'm talking about.